What is up Sparkling Babes? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have an exciting video because we're going to be creating some nails that does not require any type of acrylic. So I'm going to be showing today you guys how to do your nails using wax. This is probably the craziest idea that I have ever thought of. I have not seen anybody else done this before so if anybody did it I apologize if I didn't give you credit but um, I just haven't seen anybody done it. So anyways let's go ahead and get right into it you guys. The first thing you want to do before applying anything whatsoever it's actually file the nails um, buff your nail bed just because it's going to help to adhere the nail tips onto your natural nails like the glue is going to adhere so much better and I say this in all my videos again you guys I am NOT a professional this is just my personal opinion I've been doing my nails for quite some time now a few years and I love it because it saves you money and you don't have to waste so much like the nail salon you guys it literally like it's too expensive like it's getting out of hand I'm sorry you guys but for me it's getting out of hand anyways moving on another thing that I love doing is using some nail polish remover this is some acetone right here and I love this one because it does dry down the nail and again drying down the nail it helps so much when it comes to gluing on the nail which is going to help again to make your nail last longer so right here I'm using the nail kit the nail kit by kiss and this you can find at walmart they're super inexpensive you guys they're super super affordable i believe they're like around seven bucks they do have other ones cheaper and also more expensive that bring other things if you guys are interested there you can find it at walmart or even online as well so yeah there you go i'm just applying the kit the tips to my natural nails making sure they are hearing really really nicely make sure there's no air bubble for me because again that helps to adhere to your natural nails So the next step that I like to do is start shaping the nail before I do anything else. I start with a nail clipper as you can see here. You can use any tools you want. Uh, you can also use a scissor if you guys want to. If you don't have a nail clipper, this is just easy. And I just start cutting the edges around like almost forming a pointy nail type thing like just cutting the edges and making it look like it's pointy this is just how I start you guys this is just my preferred way to do it and as you saw by the title we are doing a coffin style and this is just how I start basically another tip you guys that I highly highly recommend if you do not have a nail filer like an actual like those professional that you those professional nail filer that they use at the salon you can go ahead and get yourself one of these petty like this is what you use on your foot um, this is brand new by the way I found this at TJ Maxx I believe it was super super inexpensive and I used it on my nails I know this is not for the nails you guys it's actually for your feet but it worked out really really good just because when you use like a nail filer um, like a manual one it is it takes so much time you guys so this is so much quicker so much faster and it just like the process went so so quicker so if you can find one I know you guys can definitely find uh, the real ones in Amazon for super super affordable but I just didn't have the time I just wanted something quick and this is what I found and I thought it worked so bomb so if you have something like this and you don't use it go ahead and use that girl okay it works just as fine so anyways I'm just making it into like a stiletto type of shape and then I'm gonna go ahead and clip the tip off as you can see here actually repeating the same steps that I did before uh, I'm just shaping the nail down a little more because they ended up being a little too long you guys so I just went ahead and cut a little bit more and then I'm just gonna repeat the same step where I'm gonna cut the size like the edges just cut that off with um, some nail clipper as you can see it here demonstration demonstration and you can also use once again the manual kind of like buffer or nail filer just because you have more like you definitely have more control when using one of like this like with your hands instead of using the electric ones that I was using which is for your feet not your nails but hey you gotta do what you gotta do girl anyways I'm just doing the same thing just following the sides as you can see it here and just making it into a shape um, that I want the coffin shape style that shape can be quite hard to do you just have to really file the size the side of the nail the nail bed down a lot a lot a lot like there's a lot of filing you guys to make it look like a little coffin um it's really hard but it's a very pretty nail shape anyways this is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the video basically and then we're going to get into the waxing So 
So once you're done shaping and getting the shape that you like, make sure to clean up your area because it can get, it can get crazy. Next, we're going to be taking a candle, you guys. Yes, as crazy as it sounds, we're going to be using a candle today for wax. Or you can get whatever wax you want, but this is what I'm going to be using because it's just the cheaper alternative. So I went ahead and put a candle to melt because it's the wax that we're going to be using into a microwave for around six to seven minutes. Be careful with the container that you use. This can get really hot depending on how many minutes you put it into the microwave, of course. And just be really careful because it's, of course, it's hot wax. But um, we're gonna go ahead and start applying it onto the finger, as you can see onto the nail. I'm using like a flat, you wanna use like a flat like some sort of spatula i really don't have anything right now you guys so i don't know how i'm gonna do this this is my first time you doing this so i really don't know how i'm going to but i think i'm gonna try with a brush first i'm just gonna dip it and just start like swiping it like that i don't know how i like about that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and press it to kind of flatten the nail. And I'm just going to be repeating the same process, you guys. Um, I just wanna do let you know that it does not feel hot once you apply it onto the nail whatsoever. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the spatula and just kind of flatten it out. And I'm like pressing down so you guys I'm just applying it onto the bottom of the nail I'm not doing the whole entire nail bed just the bottom because we want to get rid of kind of like this this is what we want to cover right here only and then you just want to go back with a spatula kind of press down and again, you guys, I just want to quickly remind you, this is just like a quick, easy hack in case like your nail breaks or you're on the rush or you're in a run and like, you literally have nothing but a candle. Like this is just an easy hack for like a quick fix. That's it. Nothing else, you guys. Because you, as you know, wax doesn't hold as long. This won't probably last you more than two days, to be honest. Maybe two to three days max. Um, this is just like something crazy <laughs> that I thought of or if you want to practice practice it will, this will be actually a great way to practice you just really have to let the nail the wax kind of dry down before you start filing or doing anything to it otherwise it will move around and not hold its shape so you want to let it dry for at least at least you guys 30 minutes max So once the nail dried down, or I should say the wax dried down, I went ahead and took my nail clipper, the little filer that it brings, and started shaping the edge around the edge. It was really, really hard, you guys, to shape the edge, to be honest. Um, this was more like <laughs> too tedious to do. I don't think I will even do this ever again. But again, you just have to let the nail dry and then start shaping it however you want. I did want. I had. I did have to go back a couple of times to make sure the nail bed was like completely flat and nice, no bumps or no no bumpy rolls or anything like that. But wax is super easy to manage, so that's why I think it's a great way to like start learning or start practicing before you even do acrylic, because acrylic could get you know it gets hard and it doesn't move anywhere so it's just a great way to practice to be honest not something that i will literally do to go out or anything like that but um i just went ahead and filed my nails down and then went ahead and painted them you can use whatever polish you want this is the polishes that i'm using salon perfect super super affordable and i love the color and then i went ahead and added some designs as well you guys could do whatever you want if you would like more an in-depth designs kind of like um tutorial please let me know in the comments down below make sure you thumb up this video for more video nail hacks um i'll make sure to do them because i know you guys like that uh this was definitely one of the craziest thing i ever done as you as you guys can see, I had to go back and forth for my nail edges around because it was getting a little out of control and it didn't look as I thought it was going to come out. I thought it was going to be better, but no, you guys, 
um, maybe for practicing, like I said before, but for going out, I don't think so. Like something that's going to be durable, this is not it. Anyways, I just went ahead and added some design just to cover up any mistakes that I did and any bumpy roads and ended up looking great after you added designs, you guys, to be honest. This will only maybe be good if you have like no other choice, you guys. For a night out, maybe it'll last you through the whole night, but yeah. This was it, you guys. I added some glitter once again, covering up the mistakes. But this was just to have fun, you guys. Don't take this too serious. I know it's crazy, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is how my nails ended up looking. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe. Share this video because it's insane. Like, wax, who would ever, like, think of that? Why? Why? As you guys can see, it doesn't last. It does not last. It's just a quick fix. In case you don't want to use acrylic as well, you can use wax. It'll, and you take it off at the end of the night. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next.